Hey, my tiniest little pumpkins, I hope you all are having a good start to your Saturday. We jumped in and we have finished the little rhino area. This is uh, pretty much what you guys were saying. This is the old, like, f almost like backyard section of the what were, what used to be the African elephants. And I have came in and carved out a little spot to bring back the southern white rhinos. And remember, th this isn't the first time they've been in Suyana. They actually had a spot right here where the wild dogs were. Remember, if you stood right here just a few months ago, this is where they were. As a matter of fact, they kind of, they took up almost this whole area. There was just kind of some trees and some, like a little lagoon back here, but this was the old rhino spot, uh, now taken over by the wild dogs. And you guys said another cool thing would maybe for me to uh, design like a hyena habitat over here. Um, I was definitely thinking about that and then maybe like some kind of little food or maybe gift shop or something right here. But uh, yeah, this is what we came up with for the rhinos. So we've got the really cool little statue uh, that they've added in game. Actually, this is one of the frontier blueprints. I just kind of plopped it down. And this habitat has a little walk over bridge um, so I don't know how crazy that would get, like how, you know, how like, can, you know, like chugged up this bridge would get if people were standing there trying to watch the rhinos and you were trying to walk by. But I just thought it looked cool. I gave them a little, uh, kind of like a little creek they can get down in. There's the little baby that they had back when I turned on breeding there for a while, or maybe bold. I think bold turned on breeding and I came back to like an absolute baby mess, <laughs> which she had to park. But uh, but nonetheless, it got us this cute little guy. So he's in there. And yeah, so this is, uh, I think this little spot um, right here by the elephants came out pretty cool. And the elephants come over and check them out sometimes too. <laughs> They'll come over and stare at each other. So now you've got the elephants, you've got the southern white rhinos, and look, I mean, if you're over here, kind of looking um, from the African area, kind of like the Valley of the Kings area over here, you can almost even catch a glimpse of the giraffes uh, and, and the uh, zebras kind of way back there in the background. And also, too, as far as this uh, this little building goes back here, this was an original remnant blue piece that uh, blueprint that he put at the very entrance of the park for me. And I have used this extensively because I just think it looks so freaking cool. Just the way he did those towers and the bathrooms and like the little outdoor gift shop area and some of those areas that are kind of, you can't go in, but they're themed, you know, like they're a part of this little village. I just, don't you guys think that worked out really cool to kind of break up a little bit of the habitat back here and just kind of have like a little bathroom offshoot. And really too, that, you know, I thought that was, uh, I thought this was good bathroom placement right before you kind of make the long trek back through here, kind of going into the, you know, into the giraffe valley and kind of going back through here to experience all of this. Um, you've got a good little bathroom stopping point right there. And then uh, we have the little uh, gift shop area kind of up here at this little turn, this little roundabout almost. So yeah, that is where our rhinos sit. We've got them a little mud bath over there. And they come over here quite a bit. They come over and use this quite a bit. Really fun to see them when the animals kind of use the whole enclosure. Use some of those tropical pieces to kind of uh, tropical pack pieces to kind of just try to, you know, give a little more character to the bridge. So, yeah, I think that was a good call. I think a couple of you actually said rhinos needed to be right. And rhinos needed to be neighbors, uh, to the elephants. And I think you were right. I think this worked out really, really cool. Give them a pretty good bit of space. Um, you know, it's still kind of like trying to keep it a little believable. Like, yeah, they could live here, but also kind of, you know, Stepping out on that almost like, you know, the S. Dan fantasy trip. But you could definitely get some good views, especially as they pass under the bridge on you. So, yeah. 
So we still have some planning to do. So basically, if you look at it from up here, you've got your southern white rhinos, you've got your uh, African elephants, you've got your uh, zebras and giraffe. And then, of course, you have the uh, lion's den over here. And I actually removed some of the trees and some of the theming over here. Um, so to kind of give you a more clear view of, of the, uh, the big lion statue. So you'll notice right here by uh, kind of off the side of Seth's bike shop, right when you come around the corner now, remember there was like a big tree right here and a big um, kind of like a, some big electric poles. Now I've got it to where that statue I think would really uh, want to pull people back here. And then so, of course, now you've got the rhinos. You could spy them out over here. Off to your right, the elephants, and then make your way a little further up in here. You start getting to the lion viewing areas. A couple of them running around over here. The big guy over there being lazy. And then we have a little bit of um, elevated viewing, kind of like a little elevated platform right here. You can look out onto the pride. And we've got some more caves over here that are kind of a little bit unthemed right now, but this is kind of the far side of the viewing area, which I think would be really, really cool. Really wish Zoo Knoxville would get us a little closer to the lions. And then this is the other viewing area, the kind of the open area. You can look out across the, look out across the whole habitat. So you guys will have to let me know kind of what else you want to see kind of going back through here. Um, we've got a good spot right here, kind of like uh, that, would, that, that the Jeep tour people would actually also be able to see kind of as, because remember, we're going to redo that eventually as they make their way out through there. But this could be some kind of habitat and this as well. Remember, we've never turned this into anything yet either. I just took down um, the construction walls not too long ago. But something, we could put something back in here. Something African, of course, kind of tie in with this over here. I even thought at one point, um, one of you guys said that Suyana um, lacks cheetahs. And I thought about um, instead of making this two separate habitats, getting rid of this and making this kind of one like big cheetah area. Um, so you guys will have to let me know what you think. That'd be a pretty good size area. And then we would kind of just close this off, section that off, maybe make that like the, the little background area. Wild dogs, like we showed off before. I think that came out really, really well. Really good spot for them. There's just, um, it's like I said, there's so much potential still to go with these open spots. Um, as you make your way kind of back here through both of the, uh, the gift shops here, we've got uh, Leafs River Walk that's still waiting more development. I got rid of the hotel um, kind of right here past the little tapirs. But yeah, this is Leafs River Walk. We've got to get some more exhibits and stuff back through here. Took out the lake. Um, over here is like more for, for the gorilla area. And then it kind of encroaches on Bold's uh, kind of like the tiger area and Carlos G's Amani Trail. It'd be really cool if I could bring Remnant back in and like just give him like this spot. Like if he's bored with his other projects that he has going on, just put out an incredible Balboa Zoo episode just a couple days ago, but I think I'll reach out to him. And if he, I'm going to tell him if you're ever bored or you feel you're burnt out with your projects you have going on right now, I'm going to hold this spot open for something remnant related. I think that could be really, really cool. But yeah, so that's kind of, that's a little bit of the update there. So you guys have to let me know, let me know what you think. And if you think the, uh, the rhino area came out cool. Just kind of let me know your thoughts down below and kind of what you want to see next or what direction you think we should go. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by and 
hanging out with your old boy. I'm S. Dan Wolf. As always, we'll catch you in the next video.